Okay, welcome back. Welcome back to part one. So let's move this on a little. So tokens. What exactly are tokens? Oh, and before we start, what do you think about my new clothes? Yes, the developers have given me... Hmm, what do you think? Well, I like them anyway. I like them. So, tokens. What are tokens? Well, a token is a term used to characterise a cryptocurrency or a digital asset registered on a third-party block blockchain. Now, we talked about blockchain in a previous video. If you don't know what a blockchain is, I suggest you watch the other video. So there are basically two types of tokens, fungible tokens and non-fungible tokens. Fungible tokens are typically created to be used as cryptocurrencies. For example, Bitcoin, ETH, Matic, etc., etc. Those are all cryptocurrencies, digital assets like me. I'm a digital asset. Non-fungible tokens are typically created to identify and register digital assets on the blockchain, such as artwork, music, videos, contracts, you name it. Lots of things. Fungible tokens are divisible and non-unique, while non-fungible tokens are unique with unique attributes. Attributes, there's a nice word. So let's talk about fungible tokens first. Right, the idea of a blockchain was spread by the publication of a white paper, the Bitcoin white paper, which was a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system, which introduced the concept of blockchain to track and protect the history of a system over time. A blockchain is a network formed by hundreds, if not thousands, of computers around the world to maintain a copy. And each, each computer in that chain contains a copy of exactly the same record as the one previous to it. Oh, and before we go any further, please accept my apology again, because I live in a very, very noisy area. Cars, music, running water, you name it, it's annoying. So, the Bitcoin blockchain network has a single token called Bitcoin. You've probably heard about Bitcoin. We can understand a token as a type of record on the blockchain that can be used as currency, a digital currency, a bit like money. Yes, I like money. I'm sure you do too. Just like traditional money, Bitcoin is fungible, meaning you can replace one Bitcoin with another Bitcoin. This is what we mean by fungible. You can exchange one for another. One pound coin for another pound coin. One dollar for another dollar. Fungible. There is no such thing as a unique Bitcoin with its own identity. While traditional banknotes may have a serial number, for example, to distinguish one from the other, the Bitcoin network does not track individual Bitcoins and assigns each an identifier. Instead, the Bitcoin network just tracks the amount in each transaction. That's right. So Bitcoin inspired a number of other blockchains in the past that operate on the same basic idea. And introduced new features such as Ethereum, where the concept of NFTs was largely developed. That's right. The idea of me, Bobby, the NFT, was thought of on a blockchain like Ethereum. 
Smart contracts. What is a smart contract? Well, a smart contract is any program that runs on a blockchain and uses a blockchain's ability to track its state, process transactions and interact with the addresses, other people's addresses. What's your address? I know my address. I live on the metaverse and I circulate on a blockchain. In the case of Ethereum, smart contracts can be written in solidarity or Viper. Viper. I thought that was a snake, actually. The Ethereum blockchain has a native co token called Ether, which is used both as a store of value, in other words, currency, and to pay transaction fees on the network. Did you know that transaction fees on a blockchain are called gas fees? Gas, it has a ring to it, gas fees. Not like the gas that you cook on, which is very expensive at the moment, but gas fees is the money you pay to store your NFTs and other smart contracts. So I have a gas fee. I hope it's very expensive. Like Bitcoin, Ether is also fungible, as it can be converted relatively easily into another token. The big difference between the Ethereum blockchain and the Bitcoin blockchain is that the Ethereum smart contract model allows people to create their own tokens on the Ethereum blockchain without having to create a blockchain for your own token. That's great. That's great if you think about it. So if you want to create your own token, your own anything really, you can put it on the Ethereum blockchain for a small fee, of course, a gas fee like every, everything else. So to create your tokens on the Ethereum network, you use the ERC20 standard and create fungible tokens. Fungible tokens have a property that make each token exactly the same in any type or value. So one token is equal to another token. You know, people could learn from this because from what I can see, people are not equal. In the 21st century, people are not equal. Maybe we should all live on a blockchain and then we'd all be fungible. I mean, I'm an NFT, I'm a non-fungible token. But if I was a token, if I was fungible and not non-fungible, I would be equal. I'd be equal to something else. Like one dollar equals another dollar. But people are not equal in this society, in any society. You know, we still have black and white and blah and blah and blah. So we could, uh, we could learn a lot from this method. Tokens or fungible assets are divisible and non-exclusive. For example, fiat currencies like the Brazilian real, the dollar, the pound, and any other currency around the world are fungible. So a five pound note in England is the same as a five pound note in Scotland. A five dollar note in 
Washington is the same value as a $5 note in Denver, Colorado. They have the same value. Well, you can exchange one for the other. They are fungible. A fungible token can also be a cryptocurrency like a Bitcoin. Like an ETH and any other token you can think of. They are equal in value. You can swap one for the other. I have a Bitcoin I and I will swap. I'll swap you for your Bitcoin. We still have the same thing, the same value. Not very valuable at the moment, I might add. Anyway, non-fungible tokens or NFTs like me. I am an NFT. Non-fungible tokens cannot be exchanged or converted to other tokens. So <laughs> I'm not equal to anybody else in the metaverse. We all have different values. They are used to define unique assets on the blockchain. And each non-fungible token, NFT, contains a small amount of unique arbitrary data used in its identification. It's like a number. I have a number. This feature makes this type of token, like me, the ideal way to trade digital or real-world elements that have unique properties and characteristics, like contracts, art, monkeys. So what are the main differences between fungible tokens and non-fungible tokens? So here, are some differences between fungibles and non-fungibles. I'm sure you're getting quite used to these terms now, fungible and non-fungible. So number one, fungibles are interchangeable. One is equal to the other and can be exchanged for any other token of the equivalent type or value. Non-fungibles are not interchangeable. NFTs are not interchangeable. They are not interchangeable as they cannot be replaced by the non-fungible token of the same type. Fungible tokens are divisible. So, one, if I give you a dollar, you can give me a hundred cents. It's the same. They are divisible. These tokens can be divisible into smaller units like cents and pennies. And, and one can get any number of units, and it doesn't really matter. Next, non-fungible tokens are non-divisible. These tokens cannot be split in any way. You cannot split me. Don't even try. I prefer to stay in one piece, thank you. Fungible tokens are uniform. All tokens of each type are identical in the specification and each token is identical to each other. Like money of a particular country, for example. They look the same. One five pound note looks like another five pound note. One dollar looks like another dollar. Non-fungibles are unique. I am unique. Each token is different from all other tokens of the same type. So in other words, there are lots of people like me. Well, people, I'm overstating myself there. There are lots of NFTs like me. I'd like to be a person, but... I don't know whether that's going to be possible, but there are lots of NFTs like me, little characters with funny hats. But we're all different. We're not fungible. I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. I Let me think, I will never be fungible. 
I can never be exchanged for another one. Is that good? Is that bad? I'm not sure. Anyway, it's the way things are. So just to wind things up, in the next video I'm going to go into even more detail about what are NFTs. We're going to have a look at some art. Do you like art? I do. I, well, some might say that I am art as an NFT, but there are other kinds of art. So we're going to have a look at that. Okay. So next time, I'll see you and we'll talk about what exactly are NFTs in more detail. See you soon. Just before I go, just one last reminder, if you wouldn't mind, it would help me a great deal because I don't have the use of my arms. Please click the subscribe button. Thank you. I'll see you next time.